Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to Grim Knights and the Elven Cursed DLC. So, we're picking up a little while after our last episode. Basically, what we're doing is... I've been killing off a lot of villagers to try to build this up, because apparently that's the main way that you get uh, resources. Uh, this Elven Energy resources. You get it by killing stronger enemies, which I haven't met a whole lot of them. And killing off your own units, because there's a chance every time you kill off a unit, it'll turn into elven energy. And I need a hundred of it to upgrade my town hall, because until I upgrade my town hall, I can't dig deeper. I can't upgrade my uh, troop structures. I can't do much of anything. So that's what we're working towards. Uh, other than that, nothing's re nothing's really actually happened. Uh, I have two more druids and a couple more spearmen. What else? What else? Oh, I built a healing pool and a shatter spear upgrade, which I'm still not entirely sure what that does. Oh, okay. So somebody has to worship at that to get that um, stuff. Okay. Moon shard deposit has been depleted. That sucks. So the thing is, I can't really get my hands on more natural resources because I can't dig deeper. The only other option I can think of... Yeah, see, there's some Elven energy right there. Uh, it won't let me build a root tree. Any, like, on these lower levels. So if I want to build a root tree, I'm going to have to build it over here. Which is, I mean, as you can probably imagine, not ideal, but it looks like I don't have a lot of choices. Like, resources are disappearing. And honestly, that root tree is probably going to get destroyed. But yeah, once these resources run out, I don't have another source for them. Hey, look, more elven energy. I'll take it. Basically, what I've been using the Elven, uh, what I've been doing is I've just been killing off the, the, I guess, food pickers and the seed pickers that don't have perks and trying to replace them with those that do. I know that was a pretty good soldier, but right now that's not what I need. Good lord, this is way out here. Question. Ooh, I don't like that that happened. You know what? That actually does not work for me. I do not want any gaps in my terrace. It's a cost to upgrade this in height. <laughs> Village level 3. Well, that's not going to happen. Alright, uh, back up, back up, back up. I'm going to keep him alive, though, because I could use a quick builder like that. Gathering seeds, okay. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Well, it's, your, it's an unlucky day for you, my friend. Normally, you'd have a place here. Today, you don't. Yeah, see, I have to get rid of these dudes. Well, that one's fine. But these other ones, nah, so much. Although these two would make fine dust blades, so... Actually, all three of them would make fine dust blades. You'll make a good spear thrower, but... No. No. Man, I, get, I didn't get anything for that. Holy crap. Well, this crap isn't ideal. Okay, you know what? I don't really need mana as much as I need, like, <laughs> moon shards. God, I wish you would let me grow deeper. But no. Oh, son of a... And now that's gone? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, I might have to build that other mine, whether I like it or not. Like I said before, my only other option is to dig here, but that's only going to give me like two spaces to dig in. 
Yeah, like right here, two or three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Elven energy mechanic. That seems... I don't know, that seems like... I don't know. Seems like a arbitrary way to just slow your pace down. Like, almost as a way of punishing you for doing well. It's like, oh, by now you could probably have the resources to dig deeper and deeper, but you know what? We're going to give you this arbitrary mechanic to stop you from, you know, advancing as fast as you possibly could. It's like, okay. Explain why that's even... Yeah, see? And it's a, not even a high percentage to get it every time. It's just... I don't know. I don't like it. I still like the game, but I don't like that particular mechanic. <laughs> Alright, let's see what comes for us tonight. I'm really curious to see how this works now, because we have these druids. I also want to use the druids' magic. Because we do have some really cool abilities. That I haven't used yet. So it'll be interesting to see those guys at work. Especially since I am constantly bringing in mana with these dudes. The demon gate is opening. Huh, new to enemy type. Horn Beast. A mighty demon beast will demolish buildings rapidly. Uh, is it just him? Oh my god, no, it is not just him. Well, I have a lot of mana, so I am going to be dropping some firepower on their heads. 400 HP, okay. Well... This might just be the end of our village. <laughs> the upside is my... My dudes up here will kill the flyers pretty handily. Shatter spear thingies up there. Nice. Okay, yeah, mana is the way to go. And I'm trying to get through their shield. She has this shield, it looks like. So things are getting through. Okay, this magic mechanic is really cool, though. Yeah, those shatter spears are amazing.
sons of... Okay, real quick, I have to risk it. Oh, Lord. Okay, nothing's attacking my city. Good, 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 good. Okay, looks like we're handling the rest of this. I don't like that the imps can just fly above us, so it sounds like I need more height. Yeah, that didn't go well for you, dude. Okay, how about you? Are you any good? No, go away. How about you? Are you any good? Ah, you'll be alright. Hmm. Yeah, for the most part, our resources down here are gone. 55, holy crap. We might actually be able to quickly expand. All right. I have no choice. I need more resources. What's the item? Ah. 25% more HP, or just 25 more HP. I didn't, yeah. Don't care who gets it. Any of you can have it. Use that pool to heal everybody. Yeah, I have to build that mine. Once saw a man. Did you? Hmm. It's kind of a weird thing to be bragging on, but okay, you saw a man once. Plus two when extracting mana. Well, you know what? Because of all the magic, I'm not going to kill you. There is a mana stone right here. Get to it. Yeah, I can always destroy this, this thing later. So what? Yeah, those druids, holy, okay. Don't, don't want you to leave. Those are some cool units, though, I gotta say. And some cool abilities. Alright, start digging. And honestly, this can be a self-contained mine. I don't even care. Because I do know you have to be careful. At least you did in the original Grim Knights. Because there were dudes that could... Um, enter your mines. They could go up and down ladders and stairs and crap. So, yeah. Also, if those big dudes keep coming like that, I'm okay with the elven energy thing. Like you guys should move forward a little more. You know what? No, I need my defenses back here. Uh, everybody I have is pretty good at gathering seeds, so sorry. Go away. Fifteen and fifteen. Yeah, those moon shards. We don't have a lot of them anymore. Oh hey. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna have you keep expanding the mine, and I'm gonna have you just keep on mining cobalt. Because he should automatically move on to this cobalt deposit when he's ready. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to give us any more, um... Ooh, plus two when gathering seeds. I mean, I have plenty of seeds, mind you. That's why I'm hoping we can get to the point where I can do some trading. Huh? I don't see any mana leeches. Okay. Sure, we released the mana leeches, and apparently they're already dead. Did they just fly straight up here and get massacred? I could see that happening, actually. Yeah, that might be all we can do, is just collect resources and murder those dudes as they show up. But let's also make some preparations, shall we? I know this is costing me a lot of mana. Dude, I don't think you even know what mana leeches are. Those aren't mana leeches, those are mana spirits. What are you good at, my friend? <laughs> I mean, it's nice that you're a healthy bloke, but man, that doesn't do me any good. Clearly, it doesn't do you any good either. Man, you'll give me a skill eventually that I can use. You know what, actually? You can collect from this dude. I don't want to get rid of the grows heals twice as fast because that's actually super useful. Again with the mono leeches. There are no mono leeches. Actually, I'll probably put him in the mines to collect some, uh, what's it called, moon shards. I don't know that I want to go all the way over here. You get all the way over here and it's like, hey, hey, look, there's a second demon thing. Enjoy. The demons are hungry. Just let me level it up. Actually, we're doing all right now. I feel like maybe I'm overdoing it on the food and the other materials, but you know what? I'm a, I feel okay. When this dude gets here, I'm going to put him on uh, the moon shards, because the moon shards, I don't have a lot of them, and the reason I don't have a lot of them is there aren't, weren't a lot of um, deposits when we started. And also, it's what's used to make the, what are they called, the javelin throwers? Like, I know there's an actual name for them. Hey, stand over here and show me. The moon spears, yeah. Okay, when these run out, I'm going to send them to the new mine. At least this will keep everybody busy for a while, you know what I mean? Because before, it's just kind of a waste. Our dudes are just standing there like, Yeah, no, we don't know what to do. Good stats. Oh, I've mined a lot. 41 elven energy. Okay. Here's hoping the next attack puts us over. On top of that, here's hoping the next attack we are actually able to survive. Now, with my um, javelin throwers up here... Okay, good. I wanted to make sure that wasn't just a one-time use item. And in case any get through, I feel like it's a good idea to put these all the way across. 
Like, I know this doesn't stop the flyers. But it can certainly slow things down for the rest of my dudes to have a go. Okay, cool. Now I just ignore it. My people will build up mana for, like, the comets or meteors or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, like the trading building would be incredibly useful, but that's not something they're going to let me have for a while. Allows you to trade with Mother Nature, yeah. Village level 2. So everything is hinging upon us um, getting more elven energy. But I feel like once we get to the next level, things should start taking off a bit more. Because um, it looks like we can get those energy flowers, can devour winged imps and mana leeches. Can be fed potions to gain elven energy so we'll be able to speed through faster. Yeah. And we'll have the capability once we get to level 3 to build this tower as tall as possible. Because that's what I kind of want to do, is I want to make this as tall as it can, just so those stupid um, imps just can't float past our city. Our defenses and hit our city, you know what I mean? A band of demons are approaching. How and why? I do not understand. Why are you here? middle of the day, what you want. Come on. I'm waiting. Are these ones not hostile? I highly doubt it. Cleared that out pretty handily. You interrupted my mana collection, though. Like, I wonder if he can be lured down here. Like, if he's going to come down and mess with us. wants the village. Kill him. Thank you. You three. Come along. Yeah, no, that was satisfying. And honestly, I don't know what a Shatter Spear does, but holy crap, did it become useful. I also don't know why my Shatter Spears, or my Moon Spear people, decide they want, like, a Zoro mask. It makes no sense. But I'm not going to argue as long as they keep throwing those Moon Spears and bringing down imps. You know, I don't know if I've ever gotten a single character... 
that actually likes mining uh, moon shards. Nah, I don't want to equip a moon, uh, moon shard or moonstone javelins. I'm alright. Down. We have Cobalt. Okay, yeah, we'll take the Cobalt out on the far end. I mean, if I want to build those Dusk Blades, Cobalt is perfect, but the Dusk Blades aren't, don't seem to be our go-to unit. Now time to do something I have never done in the first Grim Knights or this one. There's nothing I can do at this point except fast forward to... Yeah. Like I said, I get three Earth mana per hour that I did that, so... Meh. I was hoping it would be Elven, mon Elven Energy, but new. You. Torch, please. Yeah, I can't up my population or do anything or build any houses until I get my town hall or whatever the life tree up to the next level either, so. Let's kill us some demons and hope we get to level two. Hopefully it happens fairly soon. for the imps. Also, oh, that helped a lot with the light, actually. <laughs> it's like, we don't have any lights. It's actually kind of hard to see these dudes coming. Actually, it's not. New enemy type. What did we find? Burning armor, pure armor, and fire without might be unstoppable without the aid of magic. Well, I kind of have some. bringing a couple of them too. Focus on the flyers. I really don't like the mono leeches. Look at And you can see right there why. Our dudes can't seem to hit them to save their lives. So far, the flyers are getting massacred, though. An item was discovered. Good. All right, druids.
I have hit multiple enemies in midair. Oh, good god. A root tree was ruined, so you guys are trapped down here. That's fine. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever bring you out. You guys can still keep working down there, right? Hell, I don't even know why you would want out of the mines. You're safe. That was bad. I only have a few more shots. This handled. We have the Elven energy. Look at that. Let's go collect all the stuff that scattered across the ground. Yeah, I'm going to leave you guys mining perpetually over here. It's fine. Upgrade! Population did not go up, but I didn't expect it to right off the bat. Let's see. I should probably start building... like terraces to put more housing and stuff in. So that's what I'm going to do. Because once I get the terrace, I can start building houses on the second level. And honestly, I have all the resources I need to do what I'm doing right now with these terraces, so. Not super concerned. What's the next level? Oh, 300. Holy crap. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all these people to build houses up there. And we'll go from there. How many more can I have? Three houses, and then I can upgrade them to each to level three. Cool. And now these people, if I want them to, can mine deeper. See? Now, we haven't been shown another resource yet, so I don't know if we need to really mine deeper for anything. Like, not until our current level is cleared. It's not like our previous game where we needed super rare materials that were only at the bottom. should just be able to walk across, right? Yep. Let's get some houses built. Let's get all three of them built as quickly as possible. actually turn you into a soldier and you into a soldier because now we're getting villagers again hmm. okay so yeah we can get a bunch more villagers that works for me hmm. 
know what? I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Sorry. I know I don't need to, you know, wipe them out like that right now, but it feels like it should be, feels like it needed to be done. Okay, I used a ton of mana building these trees, so. Like, yeah, how much? 50% more damage. I could use you. cries when she sees the nails. Why? It's kind of creepy. Why? Oh. What is a blood hunter? No, I need to know what a blood hunter is. We'll cast homing spells. I want that. Javelin throwers here. And give the druids. Okay. I don't have enough mana for it at the moment, but give the druids homing spells. And that'll really help deal with the dudes at the top. But as much as I like hearing that, you guys need to tell me <laughs> what a blood dude is. build that. Because of the terrace menu right there? Yeah. I cannot build that. That truly, truly sucks. When mining cobalt, well, you know what? I need somebody to start expanding the mines down here, so that's you. Yeah, before nightfall, I want... Yeah, I want my druids upgraded. What you gonna do? Cool. But, I don't know. I don't know that I really need you. Why is it not? Explain, game. Explain. I can't upgrade the hunters. The warrior's glade. That is gonna be a problem for me. It's like, oh, you want upgraded troops? No. I'm gonna build a wishing well when I can, but... I am very disappointed. Because if I can't upgrade that... Is this never going to go away now? Fine. Go fix it up then. Knows how to bring the pain. Well, I wish you would be able to bring the pain as an upgraded soldier, but hey. The game says no. really weird to me that the game says no, but meh. Okay, let's see here. Oh, so he just cleaned it up. Good. Now, hey, it can be upgraded now. That was weird. 
Okay, we now have... Glaive Blade. Equip this person with a mighty elven glaive. And Blood Hunters, the legendary, deadly, and rapid elven archers. 20 food? Okay. Before I commit to something like that, though, what... What does their upgrade give me? Blood hunters get homing arrows. But I imagine you don't want to get rid of the shatter spears because just reading the description tells me, you know, tells me those dudes probably break armor. So I'm gonna start getting blood hunters. We're going to get some Glaive Blades. I know I'm using a lot of resources here, but it's kind of necessary. And yeah, you know how to bring the pain, apparently. And we got a Band of Demons. I don't need a Band of Demons right now. Not gonna lie, that's not something I'm really in the market for. <laughs> Dislikes women. Wow, that's that, okay. <laughs> that's some weird information to volunteer, let me just say. Yeah, I'm going to bring people down here to expand the mine quickly. Like, I think we can handle this. Like, if I could get enough mana right now, I'd put in the homing spells for I had like a bunch of dudes working on that. Yeah, so yeah, they destroy armor. So you don't want to lose your shatter spears. Hunters. You know what you guys are called? Come on over here. You know what? If you have no perks, you should just go away. Screwed up as that is, that's how it's going to be. Meh. Yeah, I'm going to actually start... Picking up all these other resources. And if these people die in the mines, they die in the mines. None of these dudes are super high level or anything. They're just kind of here. Um. What are you good at? Eh, we already have a person who can do that. 
Ah, another blood hunter. I feel like I want the blood hunters to be at the top. Druids in the middle, blood hunters at the top. And the Glaive Blades can just be basically the home guard. We're gonna need them. Yeah, it's nice that we can finally expand this mine a bit. What can you do? Gathering food. I know we have a dude who's not great at that. So you take his job. Yeah, the Blood Hunters, I'm actually quite enjoying them. Like the idea of them. Obviously, we haven't used them in battle yet, but hey. I'll probably give them homing arrows as well. I feel like that that would probably be about the smartest thing you could do with them. I don't think I'm going to get too many of these, because if I remember from the first game, you don't need a lot of melee units. You want them as a backup line, but that's about it. This next round is probably going to be rough, because it's hour 17. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey. Losing mana. Oh. Ah, you know what? You can go there. You can't afford to lose the mana. I need the I need it for my spells. Why are we letting them destroy our stuff? They were just stealing- oh. They start destroying once the mana runs out, I'm guessing. Well, that was annoying. Alright, well, let's see how this last battle goes. This may very well be the last battle, considering I don't have magic to help out. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not a skill we need here. Yeah, I don't have the ability to call in any of my big spells. So this could be the end of the line. Cobalt. Hey, I can use you. Yeah, it sucks. We lost so much energy. Alright, well, let's hope this works. I mean, we still have some traps, just very few. Don't really need healthy elf cloaks. We have enough no perk dudes around as it stands, so you come over here and do this. None of our miners seem to have their torches out, so. We should probably turn those on so we can see what's going on. 
I have quite a few units that don't have their torches out. That's weird. Plus one at extracting mana. Okay. I know you're good at that. Pretty sure one of these dudes does not have that bonus. He's the one who dislikes women, you know. Don't just arbitrarily dislike people in our settlement. Come on now. Is still working? Idle? Oh, just my builder. Hey, come fix this then. The Wicked Satyr? What the bloody... What is the Wicked Satyr? The master of all imps. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, you're sending more imps. Oh, you mother... Since he likes to move forward... I don't know that I have the troops to kill him. Oh, we're taking his armor down. So the Wicked Satyr, much more nasty, uh, much nastier looking than he actually is. <laughs> we just annihilated that, so okay. Nice. Yep, I don't need, I don't need a building person. I don't need the extra health, but thank you. Holy crap, that was... That was surprising. I was expecting something with that name to be much tougher. Also, can I put in the wishing well? Yeah, no. So I want to do the winged imps like this thing. How big is it? Because apparently it eats winged imps and mana leeches, so I want to build a few of those. I just don't have a lot of material for it. Man, I already have a lot of good cobalt miners. Give me somebody else. All right, well, either way, with this, I am all out of time for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Grim Knight's Elven Curse, where I am going to try to build some of these uh, energy flowers and wishing wells so I can actually trade the god-awful amount of resources I have for... Well, I'm not sure what I can trade them for. If I can trade them for elven energy or mana, great. But for now, doesn't look like I can. not I don't know if I can. And also, crap, these energy flowers cost mana. Where do I put them? Like, do you put them... Hmm. I think what I'll do is when I put my other dudes at the highest level... Well, I might actually put the druid's orb on the highest level, put my druids up there, put my archers in the middle, put my spearmen down here, and just put an energy flower on every level. We'll see how that works, though, because I have no idea. Either way, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.